video is on how to write an inner join in a select statement in an Access database. Right now I'm in my Stark Laboratories database and I have two tables open. I have weapons table and I also have, there's my weapons table, and then also Marvel people table. So you can see in my weapons table I have a weapon and then some of them are associated with a Marvel ID. So for example, hammer is associated to Marvel ID 4. Now if I go to my Marvel people table and I go down to 4, you can see 4 is Thor. So the hammer belongs to Thor. If we go back and we see the Iron Man suit belongs to Marvel ID 1 and we go back to our table, Marvel ID 1 belongs to Iron Man. Now that would take a long time if I had to go back and forth and compare two tables. So I'm going to write a query combining the two tables. So I'm going to first create a query. I'm going to go to Create, Query Design, and I'm going to close this. I'm going to go ahead and go to SQL, and it's a select statement. So I want a weapon from the weapon table. So let's go ahead and do that. This is from the weapons table. So we start with our table name, weapons table dot weapons. Let's see if that's plural. Nope, it's just weapon, comma. Now we would like um, Marvel name from the Marvel people table. So this is from the Marvel people table. And we want Marvel name. Let's hope I got that one right. From, and we're going to pull from the weapons table. Okay. So far, so good, I think. We'll run it, we'll find out. And so we're pulling from the weapons table and we're also gonna pull from our second table. So this part, I've always talked about in my other videos, just pulling from my first table. And when I wanna uh, add a second table, I'm gonna call this an inner join, two words. And I'm gonna join the Marvel people table on now, I can't just join any two tables. They have to have something in common. So if I look at this, I can see I have Marvel ID, and on here I have Marvel ID. So since Marvel ID here is my primary key, and I have the same field here, this is my foreign key. That's why I can write a query combining these two tables. On, um, let's just do a copy and paste. Marvel people table, control C, Marvel ID, uh, and it's got to equal weapons table, Marvel ID, semicolon. Now, let's just see if we have any syntax errors. I run it, we'll see if we get any errors and then we'll correct them. I'm gonna go to design and run. I can't believe I didn't have any typos, but it works. You can see it actually knew, okay, with the Iron Man suit, that belongs with Iron Man. The shield is Captain America, hammer goes with Thor. Very nice, so that's how we do an inner join. Let's look at our select statement again. Let's talk about it. Let's just rewrite it just a bit. So what I did is I did a select, that's the required word, weapons table, which is my table, and then my column, and then a comma. I selected for my next table, period, and then my column name, from, which is another required word, and then I did my weapons table. I did an inner join, and I interjoined my second table. So there's the weapons table, there's the um, Marvel people table, and then I had to label my primary key and my foreign key. So I put on, that's how I'm combining them, and then I set the two fields equal to each other. So let's go ahead and just copy that. Let's run just to show you those spaces don't matter. And now let's give an alias just to clean this up. 
I'm going to say for weapons table will equal A, the Marvel table will equal B, and let's go back and put aliases. The weapons table is A, and I have weapons table down here, and I call that an A, and then I'm going to give um, the Marvel people table B, and Marvel... Okay, let's make sure, let's run it, and then we'll talk about it. Good, still works. So I just gave it aliases uh, just to clean it up, just so I didn't have as many words. It was easier to read, and, um, and that's it. So again, whenever you're going to write a query that's going to join two tables, the tables have to have a relationship with one another. They've got to have a primary key and a foreign key, and so that's how you're going to combine them. It's a basic select statement as if you were just writing one uh, you know, select statement with a from. But then this is the extra. You're going to type in enter join, your second table. You're going to type the word on, and then the foreign key and the primary key. If you have any questions, please email me at learn at vegetarianhomeschooler.com.